Hello, welcome back to Cursed Brains. The following video is edited using Wondershare Filmora, and recorded using Wondershare Demo Creator, thanks to the Wondershare team, for offering review copies of both, check these tools, links in the description. If you have use of a VPN, for protected, and hidden access to the internet, I would recommend NordVPN, link in the description. In this following video, I will be showing the basics, and reviewing Wondershare Filmora. Let's open Filmora, and get into the video. Just to let you know, this video is delayed, and is behind few versions, from the time of uploading, so there are only minor changes, and one new feature, which I included. As you can see a pop-up window is displayed after opening Filmora. This is for creating a new, or opening an existing project, you have different options to select here, let me guide you. The aspect ratio of the project, which is the ratio between the width and height of a video or screen. 16 to 9, widescreen. 1 to 1 for Instagram posts and stories. 9 to 16 portrait for mobile screens. 4 to 3 standard. And last is 21 to 9, for cinema aspect ratio. You can select any aspect ratio, respective to your project, I will be selecting 16 to 9 ratio for widescreen. This option is to create a new project, and these to open old or saved projects. You can even disable this pop-up screen, after opening Filmora, but I would recommend keeping it turned on. For now, I will be creating a new demo project, to show the basic features and functionalities of Filmora. I will be creating a new project folder, and importing demo media files, you can import these files through multiple options. You can even record your desktop screen, or yourself using a webcam or your voice using Filmora. We'll quickly drag the media files into the timeline, and equalize the audio and video, by splitting and removing the extra audio. In the end, I will show you how my other video projects look like, including the intro and outro, completely made on Filmora, that has my own creativity. In this walkthrough, I will be using all the basic features of Filmora, to show how easily one can edit a video without any difficulties. Just to make sure, I may miss one or many features, and they may change in the future, because I'm not making a complete video editing tutorial. So kindly make sure to subscribe to the channel, as I will surely get you more videos on Filmora, and its distinctive features. The following part of the video, was recorded later. You can zoom the timeline, there are two zoom features, one using the buttons I used, and another, the control button plus mouse scroll. Right now, I'm splitting the audio from the beginning section. Always make sure you save your project, and resave them on every edit, either through the file menu, or using the keyboard shortcut, control plus S. You can edit the audio in the project, double click the audio, you will see fade in and fade out, and other effects. Filmora has been in the market for years for its notable features, the competition has been tough for basic video editing softwares in many aspects, but it all depends on the use, what kind of editing one wants to do. It is a handy and simple video editor for beginners, one can use it to create some great professional videos, with not much prior video editing skills. Filmora even lets you change the speed of your video, making it fast, slow, or reverse, so you can change the entire video speed, or split certain parts which need the speed change. Select the speed automatically, or change it in custom as much duration you want it. Thank you. 
There are various quick video features, which let you change the appearance of the video, such as rotate or flip the video. Apart from those, you will find much more complex settings to use, which I will cover in future videos. Here you can see the collection of audios, Wondershare offer for Filmora users, all the audio visible are copyright free audios to use, you will find audios from multiple genres. There is also Filmstock a paid library, of royalty free video and audio clips by Wondershare, you can check it on their website. The next is titles, multiple sets of titles and endings, made by Wondershare team for all kind of videos, you can pick any preset of title, and just edit the text as suitable for your video. I'm using one of the titles, to show how you can add and edit your videos, these titles can be modified as you require, and even you can create your own title by spending some time and putting little creativity. The modification has multiple options, such as changing color, adding borders, shadow, and animation to the titles. As I have mentioned, you can create your own titles, with little creativity, and the one you are seeing has none, as its preset for example. There are a lot of titles and texts, to choose from the collection. Transitions are necessary for videos, if you want a smooth look in your video splits, or intro and outro of the video, you can select whichever transition you feel. Filmora lets you render preview your video, while editing, so you can view it without much issue or buffer. Effects are one of the great add-ons by Filmora, letting users the ability, to apply filters on their videos, giving any look they prefer, the filters are useful for vlogs, and creative editing, I will be using one of the filters here for example. Now let me add one of the elements, elements are clip arts, to make it more interactive and innovative, there are one hundreds of elements to choose from, 
and use for any kind of video you want. The last section of Filmora is split screen, I will skip this part, and will show in the future video, with few more additional features. You even have an audio mixer in Filmora, making it easy for you to mix the audio with simple edits, without using any additional third party tool. And at the end of the video, we can add end credits, I will show how you can do, with a quick example. End credits are added the same from the titles, just need to find a relevant one. As mentioned previously, these examples have no creativity, as it's just an example. Then finish it with a smooth transition.
Most of the settings can be quickly accessed from the title bar. Let me show you the options. Filmora has multiple keyboard shortcuts for easy and quick work. You can even change these shortcuts as you prefer. Finally, you can export your video in any format you prefer, you will see multiple options to export in different qualities, you can even upload the video directly to your YouTube or Vimeo channel. And there you can see the video has been exported successfully. Now let me quickly show you, how my other video projects look like, including the intro and outro completely made on Filmora. And conclusion, Filmora is a simple tool but consists of advanced features, it is affordable and easy to use, it can be used for YouTubers who make vlogs, cooking videos, dance or singing covers, and even gamers are good to use Filmora, as it has options to record screen, audio, and add title, captions, transitions, credits, intro, outro and much more. Thank you.